I'm against that. Okay, I'm against them not letting them have their mosque, and I'm against Muslims trying to tell us what we can do in this country. If they don't like it, they should get out of here. Okay, but I mean, I don't know. Anything else, sir? You, you've got the last minute. Thank you. The point of the matter is the nature of who they say they are is not a religion, and it is not just a, a, a legal system. It is a, it is a, quality, a quantity of both. And the thing about it is they are ruled by their religion. That's their law. So when you talk about their religion, you talk about their political system as well. You talk about And if they start government. trying to implement Sharia law within our state constitutions, as soon as I see that, I see the big foundations against the Muslims. Okay? As soon as, if I ever see that, I'm going to come out of the gates like a tiger. Well, then you need to come out of the gates like a tiger because last week we were declared Sharia compliant by some Muslim cleric somewhere. You need to come out of the gate now, then, okay, uh, on that. Now, I'm not saying, Alex, I, I wasn't calling it criticism. Well, I mean, like a Muslim I cleric could, de I mean, somewhere, there's probably 100,000 or more clerics could de could declare the moon's made of cheese. That doesn't mean that's the way it is. Right. Well, you know, that's, anyway, I won't get into that. But that's not the point. The moon the is made of, of cheese? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, the moon's not made of cheese. At least as far as I know, nobody's made of cheese. I'm being sarcastic. Cheese. Yeah, me too. Anyway, uh, the key about this is, is that, this is their nature. This is who they say they are. This is what they say their goal is. I know, is. you've told us that three times. My, my issue is this. I'm against the open borders, no more immigration, legal or illegal, for at least a decade, because the globalists have brought all these groups in to get us all fighting with each other. We're on our knees. We're going into bankruptcy, a depression. We're falling apart. The globalists are masters at playing groups off against each other. And so we can't have any of these foreign groups here uh, anymore uh, and, and at any higher levels because it's a globalist plan to break this country down. If we didn't have multiculturalists who want to destroy the main culture of liberty and freedom and Christianity in this country, these other groups being here wouldn't be a problem. Uh, so, so we're in agreement uh, that that there's a problem in this country across the board. Okay, and, and so I oppose the globalist plan. They want to attack these Muslim countries. I'm against it. They make up WMDs. I'm against it. They want to bring this stuff in and post the languages and make us adopt it, I'm against it. Go ahead. Now, the key to it is, though, um, I, I agree with you 100% on those things. And as far as uh, them coming to your door telling you you've got to do this, do that, that's what their goal is. Now, I never said they would have Yeah, well, you it. know what? I got the Second Amendment, and things are going to get real rough if somebody tries that. Exactly. So, but the key to it is, is that by the nature of, if I tell you, that 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 I'm a bushwhacker. What do you expect? You expect me to come hit you upside head, take you what you, take what you got? If I tell you that's who I am, now we're either going to believe that's who they say they are, or we're not. And every time that we have not believed that some, if if I walk up to you and say I'm going to hit you upside your head, and then I walk up to you and do it, whose fault was it that I did it? It's yours because I told you I was going to do it. You didn't believe me. This All right, I appreciate your call. I got to give the other caller some time. We just spent basically 15, 20 minutes on that subject. You know, it gave me a headache. <laughs> uh, let's talk to, uh, the point is, I just want to cover news and then have you make your decision about legislation we cover and news we cover and world events. You know, I cover the information. I give you my take on it. And basically every culture is wicked. You know, I'm against things Israel's doing. I criticize it all the time, but I don't hate Jews or hate Israel, so I get attacked from both sides, the pro-Israel crowd, the anti-Israel crowd. You know, I, I, I'm not a Muslim, and it's not my faith, uh, and uh, so I get bashed for not being pro-Islam, but I get bashed for not being anti. I mean, I'm just here to cover the information, okay? I'm just here to cover what's happening in the world, the poison in our food and water, the big global force is the scientific eugenicist. And I, you know, after we defeat them, if we want to kill each other, we can do that. Okay, I'm I'm dealing with the folks that want to give me a vaccine to literally brain damage me, so I submit to them. This is all on record. That's the big issue. That's the big threat. Okay, I'm I'm saying, do do, do we want this as a society? Jonathan in Texas, you're on the air. What is going on, Alex? Worldwide broadcast. What's on your mind? What's on my mind? Um, let's see here. I got a lot, a lot of, a lot of things to talk about. Um, well, good because time uh, is short. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, I'm going to do this uh, with imagery 
and whatnot of what the elite know and how they know it and why. If you're, if you're yeah, ready. lay it on us, brother. We're ready to go. All We're right. not getting any younger okay. here. All right, draw a circle. Okay, go ahead. What What do you see when you see that circle? Give me a document cam, guys. Okay, I see a round sphere that contains what's within and keeps out what is without. It also is whatever whatever you look at as well. Wheels on the car, light bulbs, the earth itself. Yes. You get what I'm saying? That that symbolism symbol, symbolizes creation itself. Okay. So then if you if you go to uh Yahoo or whatnot and uh look at uh Lady Gaga's uh what is it? Yeah, there's lots uh, of Illuminati symbolism everywhere, but they take powerful symbols and they expropriate them and use them for their own aims. And then people get over obsessed over symbols and then think, you know, other things. Uh, but uh, certainly that's uh, certainly that's going on. Let me ask you a question. Uh, did you just smoke a large bowl of marijuana? No, I did not. OK, well, you just sound really relaxed. What is your point in closing? In closing, um Basically, uh, my knowledge is to come out with solutions that have infinite solutions. Uh, a lot of solutions that can solve people's problems. Uh, well, I'm glad you've got there. it. Well, uh, listen, do this for us. Why don't you make a YouTube video and just start with a few of the infinite solutions? And if, if it makes sense, people will probably adopt it. Uh, I'll, I'll do what I can. All right, I appreciate your call. Call me back some other day when I have more time. We're going to come back, jam in a few final calls, hit on some final news. Stay with us. I'm Alex Jones. Attention, this is a special alert to all Americans who owe $10,000 or more in back taxes to the IRS. The IRS is now accepting reduced settlements from people who owe back taxes and dramatically lowering amounts owed. Due to the financial crisis in America, the IRS has announced a leniency plan in recognition of consumers' financial troubles in today's economy. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes to the IRS, an open phone line has been established by American Tax Settlement for you to call and see if you qualify for a reduction by up to 75%. Number to call is 800 900 Again, the IRS is now accepting reduced settlements from consumers who owe back taxes in response to the decline in today's economy. If you are struggling with $10,000 or more in back taxes to the IRS, you now may be eligible for a dramatic reduction by up to 75% and save thousands of dollars. For free information and to see if you qualify, call the open phone line into American Tax Settlement now. 800-902-6969. 800-902-6969. Again, 800-902-6969. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. No one likes foreclosure. You won't say, think, or even consider foreclosure with ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. Why? Because ZeroDebtGuarantee.com guarantees to stop your foreclosure for at least two years with no payments, no bankruptcy, and no negotiating. Thinking loan modification? That still keeps you in default. Zero Debt in 90 Days is the only proven system that keeps you in your house for as long as you want to stay, while making it possible to even get clear title to your house. No, we are not investors, bankers, attorneys, or real estate agents. We are a group of people just like you that are sick and tired of the housing crash, and we've helped thousands avoid foreclosure.
foreclosure since 1993. Please visit our website today, zerodebtguaranteed.com, or call to see how we can help save you tens of thousands of dollars and save your home. Call 800-477-9256, 800-477-9256. That's 800-477-9256, or visit zerodebtguaranteed.com. Guaranteed to stop foreclosure. All right, it's the final segment of this hour. Let's move quick. Doug in Delaware, you're on the air. Hey, Alex, uh, for the end of your show, I'm here to offer you guys a little bit of hope. I am running for attorney general against Bo Biden, the VP's son. Um, part of what I want to do is, a lot of people don't know this, but there's over 500,000 uh, corporations that are all registered here in Delaware. And I plan on reallocating the resources that go into prosecuting petty drug crimes and going after the uh, the market makers of so-called these derivatives and the credit rating agencies. And I think through the discovery process of these suits, uh, we will be able to uh, develop a RICO uh, Type prosecution. Well, that's important. The problem is the federal regulators are all the alumni of these big mega corporations. Doug, do you have a website? Uh, just a Facebook page right now. Okay, give it to us. It's uh, just face. Just uh, you can Google search Doug Campbell in Delaware. Okay, and, folks, uh, should check it out. I appreciate it, Doug. Mike in Illinois. Mike, you're on the air. Alex. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. Uh, I got a request for you. Okay. Uh, there's a there's a video on YouTube that you must watch and post on your website. Okay. I think the end is really near if you watch this video. All right, what's the video? It's called Destruction of Western World. It's an ex-CIA agent. He spills the beans. All right, I'll check it out. Anything else, Mike? That's all. Thank you, Mike. Zach in California, you're on the air. Hello? Hello, Zach. Hey, Alex. Hey, Zach. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about 9-11 um, and um, why Obama doesn't want to investigate it. Well, that's because it was a government operation, but sure, go ahead. Well, it's just weird because uh, it all happened while Bush was president, and then you'd think Obama being an opposing political party. No, they work for the very same power structure. They always protect the last crook. So when he leaves office, he'll be protected. I know, exactly. So I was supporting Obama, and then I find out that he's not even interested in uh, exposing the truth look, of 9-11. Look, he got four times the money McCain got from Wall Street. Not that McCain was good, but they were going to put Obama in. Of course Obama's bad, but I'm glad you're waking up to that. Yeah, so that's, that's the thing. It's like he's just another he's just another Republican candidate pretending to be a Democrat, so there's like not even two political parties, you know? Well, how's the Who song go? Meet the new boss, same as the old boss, won't get fooled again? Yeah, and I was just like, I've been watching, it's kind of been kind of old news, but I was watching YouTube and everything, and like, you know, you see all the, the three towers just falling to the ground, like, like a house of cards, you know? No, we I mean, got the police saying, get back, they're going to blow up Building 7, and then saying they didn't say it, and now it's admitted they blew it up. I appreciate your call, Zach. Trying to get as many calls in as possible. Last caller. I meant to go to Yarl and Mark. We don't have time. Mike in Colorado, you're on the air. Go ahead, Mike. Alex, brother. Alex, brother, it's a pleasure to speak to you again. It's been about eight years. Hey, uh, I wanted to ask you one quick question. Yes. I want to know if you know who this Kevin Trudeau is. You know who I'm talking about? Yes, and yes, I've had him on the show before. Yes. Okay, and he's a good guy, yeah? He seems pretty good. I mean, I don't. I, I hadn't read all of his writings, and... Uh, you know, there's some stuff I don't particularly agree with, but I agree with his First Amendment right uh, to not be persecuted and, and, and uh, you know, to be able to uh, have his say. Absolutely. I, I just wondered because, you know, it's one thing to read something that somebody's written. It's another thing to actually hear them speak and hear the, you know, the tone of their voice and the truth and, you know. No, I think a lot of what he's done, especially with, uh, you know, the herbs and things, I've researched myself, looks pretty accurate to me. And he has the feds always after him. And if they can shut down his free speech, they can shut down my free speech. If they can shut down the mosque, they can shut down freedom of religion and private property. So we want to get rid of that? I mean, you know, that's the bigger question. 
Folks, we had Ron Paul on at the start of the transmission. It's coming up in the next hour. Infowars.com. Great job, crew. See you back tomorrow live. 11 a.m. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home.